Hey guys, so this has been in the works for a while, but here are finally the wedding DIYs. Um, so there's a few things that don't come uh, when you book a venue. One of them is an envelope box. Um, the other is a seating chart, right? Because they don't know who sits with who. They don't know the inner workings of your families and your friends. And table numbers and name cards. So I'm going to show you the three DIYs that we have done. Um, the name cards on the table, we won't, I won't be showing you that. Basically, we're just getting like little tents and my friend's going to write out everybody's names um, and calligraphy. So I won't be showing you that one just because we're just writing words on a paper. <laughs> but everything else, um, I'm super excited to share with you guys everything we did um, with the dollar store stuff for you to get a seating chart it is about $200, $300 um, for like those nice plexiglass ones. And yes, they will look much better than the ones, ones I created. But at the end of the day, a seating chart is telling you where you're going to be sitting. So that's how I felt about it. So we're just going to DIY it. Table numbers. Um, I saw these like gold glittery numbers. Um, at the decor place where you can rent wedding decor. Um, so we DIY'd that and I uh, also did an envelope box um, which turned out really nice as well. So the first DIY is the envelope box. Uh, we got this metal like birdcage looking kind of thing at Michael's for $26 and then we purchased uh, plastic and paper flowers from the dollar store um, as well as lettering from the dollar store and essentially all me and my bridesmaid were doing decorating the box to the wedding colors so this envelope box actually fits like a standard envelope uh, perfectly I'm going to be getting something a little bit smaller I'm going to be providing envelopes and pens for our guests just because at the last wedding we went to, everybody forgot cards, not the money, <laughs> cards. So, and same with me and Alex, so we had to give our gift after, which is not ideal. So I'm going to be providing envelopes and pens uh, for our guests. So we glued some flowers, we put some like pearly stickers on as well, um, but the paper flowers we were just like twining in between the wire and this is the final product it's super cute i think it turned out so so well and i absolutely love it i love the colors and i love the mr and mrs and yeah i think we did an awesome job The next DIY is the seating chart. So essentially I'm making like a clothesline to pin uh, different tables onto this frame. So we painted this frame white, it came black. There's a section in Michaels where they have discount frames because they're asymmetrical. So I got this frame for $11, I got white paint from the dollar store for a dollar, sponges from the dollar store for a dollar and we just sponged on white paint, we did a few layers, and now I'm just taking twine. Uh, we screwed in screws, not quite all the way in, um, and we are just making essentially like a fishnet kind of looking thing. So now that we have gone one way with the twine, uh, we're putting screws um, the other way and I ended up overlapping under, over, under, over through the existing twine. You don't have to do this, I just thought structurally it would be a little bit more taut um, for when we pin things on. So yeah, you can see me going under, over here. So to get this professionally done on Etsy, on like a plexiglass, that's like a huge thing right now, is like $200, $300. And for me, that's just too much money for something that tells you where your guests are sitting. So yeah, I'm perfectly okay with my DIY, even though it might not look as nice. And yeah, when you flip it over the frame, like it looks just so neat and tidy. 
So I blurred out everybody's names for obvious reasons, but I'm mapping out what we're going to be doing and then we decorated with flowers and pins just like the other one. And again, I, this doesn't look that aesthetic because I had to wipe out people's names, but you get the picture. This is kind of what the idea is. <laughs> So for table numbers, I bought numbers from the dollar store. They were a dollar a piece. I bought gold paint from the dollar store, so I spent two dollars because I got two bottles of it. And sponges were a dollar, and me and Alex just spent like three hours painting these things. It did take quite a bit of time, um, but the end result was really nice. You can see like it's super shiny and just elevates those numbers a little bit. These numbers to rent were $10 a piece, so definitely worth it to do this DIY on your own as well. And this is the final product. It's gonna look super sleek. We're gonna have the white and burgundy flowers and the gold numbers, and it's gonna look really, really cool. Um, I also have some gold candle holders that will be going on the table, and yeah, this is what it looks like. So believe it or not, that took me eight weeks to make. Um, I've been filming and doing DIYs and trying to figure everything out for like eight weeks now, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> it's easily my hardest video that I've made so far, but I hope you guys liked it. If you guys need anything else or want to see anything, please let me know. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and watching, and I will see you guys soon.